Hey guys, 67 Mustang Greg again. Chilling with one of my new rifles. Some of you guys might know it, a lot of you guys probably won't. It's not that common of a gun. As you can see, it comes with everything. And it is a French Moz 4956. Semi auto. It is French 7. 7.5 by 54, so it's a full size round. Uh, you can't find ammo too much. They don't export it, but you can buy the Serbian Privy Partisan stuff from Cheaper Than Dirt. And uh, it's about the same as a 308 or a uh, 5.62 by 54 R rimmed, the, the Russian Mazda Gant round. So it's a pretty hefty round. Um, I picked this up yesterday. Uh, you can see it's in uh, pretty good shape. It's uh, the manufacture date is 1971. These were made from 56 on through the 90s. Uh, the French police actually used them up until I think 2005 or something like that. Pretty pretty recently. Um, we'll start with the action. Action is semi-auto. It reminds me a lot of the SKS. Um, it's got the the gas gas thing up here, drives the bolt back, and it even takes stripper clips. See? That's a lot like the SKS. Or at least it reminds me of it. Kind of the same same idea where the gas goes up and comes back and pops it back. So I think it's kind of like the French SKS. But I've heard that these are more like the French M1 carbine. Um it's got flip up sights. Uh, grenade sights. It has a uh, compensator or flash hider thing. Um, this is actually still in the package. You can't see it very well, but it's never been opened. It's a vintage grenade launcher for 20 millimeter NATO rounds. So it uh, screws on the barrel. And I, I found out these are pretty rare. In fact, a lot of these accessories are pretty rare. They're, this is an original magazine. Those two are not originals, and these don't feed as nicely. These are like $40 original mags. Those are 30 each. Uh, let's see, what else do I have? Um, the uh, grenade pouch. The original sling, marked uh, French, French Army. Oh, uh, what else? Um, uh, let's see. Oh, can't even find it now. I have a uh, French Army oil bottle somewhere. I put it somewhere else. I don't know where I put it. Um, I also have a real Moz. Uh, Moz stands for Manufacturer Armies D something. It's the French, basically, uh, government uh, uh, weapon manufacturers. So, Moz 1951, you can see. This is a butt pad from a 49 a Moz 49 this is an original cleaning kit everything's in there these are pretty hard to find pretty rare um, original 1971 vintage everything's in there too uh, all the brushes all the specialty tools that this thing comes with and then one of my favorite parts of this rifle is the bayonet because I have lots of different bayonets for lots of my different guns. But none of them are quite as cool as this. Locks on kind of differently than any of my other ones. So what you do is you slip the bottom ring down over. Then you line it up and you press this little button. And then... Well, it pops on, but I can't get it right now. Oh, there we go. See, and then that is what locks it in place. And that's pretty nice. It's a nice blade. It's dull right now, but I can sharpen it up just easily enough. And uh, these are actually really nice bayonets, too. Very heavy pommel. You could knock somebody out with that. Nice grip. Could definitely cause some damage with that. 
but it's all a, a collectability factor for me so and then the frog the frog is actually metal unlike your normal AK ones and uh, this one is stamped 1969 Moz. You can't see it. It says right there, 1969 Moz. So that's not an original matching bayonet to this rifle, but the um, coin kit is. Um, yeah, that's that's about it. Uh, the rifle, cleaning kit, butt stock, 40 rounds of ammo, three magazines, ammo pouch uh, or grenade grenade sight pouch unopened grenade launcher for 20 millimeter NATO grenades original sling leather French original well not original but an old uh, 1969 French bayonet and those also fit uh, the French 44s the Moz 44s and I think another rifle and the only downfall from this entire rifle that I don't like some of you guys will see is the bolt what the hell it's made out of plastic it's a plastic freaking bolt handle. It's ugly. It looks like shit. I mean, why didn't they just make a metal one, you know? I don't know. That's that's the only part of the rifle that I find weird and not my style. But other than that, I've heard that these are like an SVT-40. I love the SVT-40. I've shot uh, my friends multiple times. SVT-40, if you don't know, is like a semi-auto Mazda Gaunt or a... Uh, RPK or whatever they're called, LPKs. Um, basically a semi-auto big big rifle. So uh, I'm gonna shoot this in uh, about a month and a half, and you guys will see basically all my gun shooting. So it's coming. Um, yeah. Oh, and also, suppose I should show you how my AR-15 is doing. Still got the uh, the lower like that. Red dot, true uh, true grip, uh, vertical grip from Knight's Armament, Knight's Armament M5 rail, uh, cheap ass laser, um, Knight's Armament true uh, rail coverings all the way around. These aren't airsoft. These aren't crap. These are like 25 bucks a piece. Um, yeah, so. Those are my two cool new semi-auto guns. Hope you guys enjoyed my little French rifle tutorial. See you guys later.